What is shaking everyone? Joey Antonelli here and we have another video for you. This is a video I was not planning to make. Actually, check out that hat. JantoGear.com. Check out the merch. Got some hats, got some shirts. Now, I'll give another hat away. We'll give a hat away. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is comment down below. You need to, since this is a dive video, you got to comment Florida free divers. That's all you got to do to comment to enter and I'll pick a winner and announce it uh, when I post the next video, say like in a week or so. Um, anyways, this video was not something I plan on making because I don't go fishing to go make videos or I don't go diving with the intention of making videos. It's just what I like to do. I go fishing, I go diving, and if the opportunity presents itself, I film and make a video. Now, spear fishing, I almost always film because the camera's on my head and I don't really have to do anything. And I love capturing those underwater moments that you never really know what you're going to see. You can see anything. So here are two fish. There's more than two fish in this video, but this video features two fish that to me are absolute trophies. And we're only in the very beginning of my season. I got some cool stuff lined up for this summer. This video is going to be a little bit of a diving narration for you. I hope you enjoy it. Good luck, hope you win the hat, and if you want to support the channel, you can buy your hat or shirt right at jantogear.com, link in the description. Let's start shooting now. Alright, one kingfish coming up. It is that time, a spear fishing narration video, just to kind of tell you what I'm doing and what's going through my head as this was happening. So there was a kingfish that came by the boat several times, a pretty decent sized kingfish too. He was eating our snapper chum, but he wouldn't eat the wire. We would put a little kingfish rig out there with a live bait or a chunk or a whole dead bait and he just wasn't having it. Uh, we didn't put just the lighter leader out there because we didn't want to get cut off by him. I figured I'd hop in the water real quick, shoot him, then get back in the water and see what kind of snapper fishing we could do. Awesome red snappers around. There's that kingfish right there, and he gave me a shot at him, kind of, but he was tailing away, and I didn't like it. And he's very happy in the area. There was plenty of chum. I was pretty sure he was going to come back and give me another shot, so I didn't take that rushed long shot there. I let him swim away, and he came right back like you're going to see here. Presented himself perfectly for me for the El Rolo. That is the El Rolo shot on a nice kingfish, about a 18-pound kingfish. And I hit him with that 120 Koa Euro. That's the spear gun I'm using. And it is just an awesome gun. I love the way they shoot. They have them up Florida free divers. You can check them out there. Uh, but that is uh, the best way that it could have went down. Perfect kill shot, got him in fast, no long fight. Uh, a little bit later on, I was doing some more diving and there was a shark, couple sharks around really. Saw Cobia, and that Cobia I think was actually legal, but you can't exactly measure him and let him go when you shoot him. So that fish was probably at most 35 inches. And I've been seeing a ton of Cobias in that size range. And I'll keep a 35 inch Cobia if I catch a hook in line, but I don't normally shoot a 35 inch Cobia. Or a Cobia I think would be 35 inches. But I'm just kind of diving around, checking out the life here. Lots of little amber jacks, almaco jacks, uh, blue runners. Here are some more of those jacks, those little jacks. And there's going to be a civilian casualty in this one right here because they were swimming right up in front of the gun, making it so I could hardly even see my target. So I drop down and I'm looking for uh, some snapper again. And the jacks, the jacks are a good sign. I like seeing any kind of life. So when these jacks came up to me, I knew I was in the right area. That dark spot on the bottom, that's the ledge. The fish are kind of hanging around the ledge. I got a nice dumb mangrove snapper coming right in. And then that jack got right in my way. I accidentally had a twofer there. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, the jack tore off. Hopefully, hopefully he lived. If not, he's food for something else. Uh, but I got a pretty low shot on this mangrove. I'll, I'll blame it because I hit a fish before I hit him. But I got him up nice and quickly. About a four or five pound mangrove snapper. So a nice, very good size one, but not a giant. But good way to get started for this day. We're switching spots now and I got my big gun, my Koa 130 with a slip tip, cable, reel. It is a cannon of a gun and good thing because that is a kingfish that is much larger than I thought it was. I knew it was a big fish. I knew it was like, I thought it was like a 30 pound, 35 pound king. But I hit him in the head. I hit him really solid, but he still absolutely smoked the reel. Took all the line off the reel, put me on the belt reel, and that's why I use the belt reel. 
uh, for instances like this where I can let him run a little further if I need to. And I, I muscled him in. I got him in really fast. But this fish just had so much power. Even though I had such a solid shot on him, it wasn't slowing him down. I'm hol holding on to him and pulling as hard as I can. And he's just ripping me through the water. I mean, I get a hand on the spear or the shooting line right there. And he's just dragging me across the surface. And that's when I'm realizing how big this fish actually is. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Despite pulling as hard as I could and really trying to get that fish right at that point, I had to let him take a little bit. He was just pulling me too hard. And keep in mind, I'm winded too. I probably swam for two or three minutes by this point fighting this fish, putting a lot of pressure on him. Then the shark showed up. Now that is a bad sign for me. I'm in the water by myself. I have a tired, wounded fish. I really don't want to lose this fish. I know how good it is. Uh, I know kingfish are incredibly fast, so I opted to let the fish run a little bit, hoping he could outrun the shark because he was still fighting so hard, and that worked perfect. He outran the shark. I don't know if the shark lost interest or wasn't that hungry or what, but I started pulling him up. He's pretty tired by now, and I get that tail grab, and that's what I needed to do. I got my hand on the tail, got my other hand in the gill, and secured a massive kingfish. Lucky feet. There goes the mercury, mercury missile. Yeah. Yep. We got one heck of a meat missile here. Pull up the spear. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's good. That's right there. That's good. Ah, that is a giant king. That's all of 50 pounds for sure. <laughs> Back in the water and we have a whole mess of cobias. There's another one of those fish that are probably a keeper. I wouldn't be surprised if all those fish were keepers. Maybe not that smaller one, but that first one that swam off the camera, definitely a keeper. But this is the fish I want. That fish in the distance right there, that's the first time I saw it, and I knew it was giant. I also knew it was on a shark and the shark wasn't gonna go anywhere because they're so trained to boats. So instead of rushing, rushing the shot, I popped up, I told big them cub. in the boat, like, hey, big Kobe down here, get ready, clear a spot for me, and uh, start getting ready for some chaos about to go down. It didn't take long for me to have the shark circle back around. I made a bomb drop straight on top of this thing, and this was gonna prove to be an absolute unit of a cobia. I could not believe how big this thing was. Look at the size of the bull. Look at the size of the small cobia. That's just gonna show you how big that fish really is. Gotta do the slow motion shot. And that top fish is no small one either. That top fish is probably, I would say, a 40 pound fish or so after knowing how big the bottom one was. But there we go, perfect shot, just behind the head, dead center of the body, and I was close enough where I knew that spear penetrated all the way, even though this is my smaller gun. That 120 koa still packs a punch. Now, this fish did not start swimming frantic, so instead of pulling real hard, which would have sent him into the cobia death roll, I opted to let him run since I'm by myself. I was, figured he would just swim casually, the sharks wouldn't mess with them. Then I got in the boat and wanted to land them from the boat. That's a cobia. It's a big cobia. Honey. All right, give me the gaff, honey. I got the gaff. I, get, I got you it. Got, you, can, that. you can gaff it? Yep. Okay. okay. Here, honey, take this. Oh, no, he wants this. Good job. Watch out, watch out. Woo! That is how it is done. Good job, Joey. Ooh, that's gotta be... Careful, 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 careful. I'm good, I'm good. Here, honey, take this gas. Oh my, that looks bigger than the other one that we had that time. That's a 50 pounder. Yeah. yeah. I think that is a 50 pounder. I think, I think so too. All right, he's gonna go nuts. Will you throw those fins up that way? Yep. Just, Just keep them somewhere way. safe. There's another one a little smaller than him too. All right, that is the way we get him. Solid shot. And now he's gonna go nuts. That's why we cleared everything out of the floor, except me. So we're gonna get this thing under control. Solid mud shark, and we'll get a picture with it. You ready? Ready. It is that time of year again. Cobia slayage. 
got him on that 120 Koa Euro. That is a nice fish. <laughs>